Okay, so actually before we start the video, I just want to say look at my new hoodie. Look at him. It's Steven. Hey buddy. Bitch. <laughs> I'll actually put a reference in just so you know, you know. Got him octo pussy with a juicy nana. Topped with some stinky balls. Ready for your sweet treat? Yes, please. Enjoy, buddy. Mm. Pussy balls. Chewy. But so divine. Peck those balls, buddy. Peck them good. Here we are. Here it is. The August scroll box. Let's open it. Right. So these are the supplies. We'll just move them over to the side. Have the zine, which we will talk about in a bit. This is the artwork, which looks really cool. I like the style, which is by the artist Capasso. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And we also have what looks to be some paint card. Alright, let's have a look at the supplies. I always don't want to rip this uh, sticker up. <laughs> Be gentle. Here we go. So we have the sticker, which I really like. I always, each time we get the box, I'm like, this is my new favorite sticker. <laughs> I love it. Then we have the brand new layout, which I really prefer, but I would put them to the side. We have another Signo Jelly Roll pen, which I have a bunch of. Don't mind getting these because they're the best jelly rolls in my opinion. We have um, toffee. Oh, is it? A, it's a milk chocolate covered toffee. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to wrap that back up, and I will give that to somebody else who will eat it because I don't eat them. We also have a Derwent line marker in pink, pink rose, not 0.3, which looks super cool. We have the Zig memory system pen. Oh my, new supplies, I love this. And then we have some one for all acrylic markers in black, blue, and green. Let's pop one of these off. Oh, it's one of those that you have to pump to get the the thing out. Oh, and imagine you shake it like a Posca pen. Do you know what? If there's any people out there that, that can sing, let me know because we could make a song based on Shake Your Posca. Just send me a message. <laughs> Alright, so with all my scroll boxes, we'd like to go through the zine. So when we open it up, we have a list of all the supplies that are included, which is really cool. Ooh, accent colour lucky dip. We've packed in either pink, yellow, or red line marker. Which one did you get? I got a pink one. Leave a comment below which um, colour you got, because that'd be very interesting to know. So they have an interview with the artist, his work is insane, if he has an Instagram I am definitely going to follow because look at this, look at that style, that's epic. I might try and recreate one of his pieces somehow. And then some tips and tricks on how to use the markers, it does say there, shake them before you use them. Then this is a gallery from June. Let's see who made it in. We have a look. Legibly. Oh, I love the ghost. It's really cute. And then there's just some extra bits on graffiti and what it is. So yeah, I think what we should do is swatch the supplies and get to making something. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I have another scroll box unboxing for you and this month's box is the August box. So what I'm going to do is read through the supplies, let you know how much they're worth and yeah. See if we're getting our money's worth like I always say in every single video. Alright so it says here, 
This month's Squala Box takes us to the streets with our featured artist, Capasso, but these aren't the streets as you know them anymore. Experiment with blocks of colour, let the paint pens run, vary the weight of your outlines of forget the rules and just scribble outside the lines. How do the pens layer up together on the boards? Do they clash in chaos or align in perfect harmony? Conform or rebel? Time to leave your mark while you still can. Now I must say that you should be careful if you get this box because when I opened one of the lids the ink just splattered everywhere. <laughs> So yeah, alright, so the first thing on the list that was included was the Molotow One For All Acrylic acrylic twin. I always struggle to read for some reason. Alright, so these highly opaque and UV resistant acrylic markers can be used on nearly any or all surfaces including canvas, fabrics, glass, wood and more. So with these markers, nothing is impossible. The paint is water-based, non-toxic and can even be mixed for unique highly pigmented coloured blends creating re reliably vibrant and bold colour every time. These markers are quick drying, permanent and waterproof once dry. The sustainable acrylic marker system has also ooh, been in, in a... Come on Emily, you can get your words. You can do this. Innovative... Blah, blah, blah. That word <laughs> built to enable refills so you can keep your pens forever. And we got three of these markers in green, blue, and black, and they all retail for $4.99 each. The next one is the Zig Vellium Twin Marker, which I've never even heard of before, so that was pretty cool. This pen is dual tipped, featuring a fine tip 0.5 millimeter and a bullet tip of 1.2 millimeter, perfect for all your creative needs. The waterproof archival quality ink is a water-based, light fast and odorless. The ink in the jewel tips also dries very quickly, so there is no worry for bleeding or wrinkling the paper, which I thought is pretty cool, and that retails for £4.99. Next up, we have the Derwent Colour Line Marker. And in brackets here it says mixed. Which colour did you get? So in the zine it actually said that it's like a lucky dip sort of thing depending on which colour you got and the colour that I got was the pink one. And the colours you could have got were either yellow, red or pink. So it says here this classic drawing pen features a high quality super fine break resistant nib that glides effortlessly over the page to produce smooth, free-flowing lines. It contains a water-based pigment ink that provides rich and pure tones that are light, fast and quick drying. Permanent when dry, so any water-based media can be layered over the top without affecting any previous drawing. And next up we have the Uni Signo Broad White Pen. Now this is one of the best gel pens in my opinion and it says here this pen features a thick one millimeter roll rollerball tip and fully opaque white pigment gel ink that creates clean and precise line work every time the ink is waterproof light fast and acid free and is ideal for adding highlights or used as a convenient corrector pen which i use all the time <laughs> for my mistakes uh, this pen is also fitted with a form-fitting rubber grip for your writing and drawing comfort and that retails for £3.21. And last but not least we have the Dala Rowney Mixed Media Art Boards and that came in a pack of three. So these art boards are durable and perfect for all artistic techniques. They are great for almost any media including pencil, ink, pastel and charcoal but are an ideal pairing for watercolour and acrylic. They are, natu they are naturally white boards with a lightly textured surface and can be used for both wet and dry techniques and they retail for £2.99. So this month's Squirrel Challenge was Digital Dystopia, which I thought was pretty cool. And I decided to draw a portrait of a person of Pinterest, reference from Pinterest, and basically try and colour it and draw it in the way that, um, what's his name again? Where's the sheet gone? Here it is. 
um, that Capasso did. So yeah, I really enjoyed this box. So yeah, I'm going to say that's it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, comment below what you think, subscribe for more, share with your friends, and yeah, let me know if you got your box, what you think of it, in the comments below, and I'll see you next time with another video. Okay. Bye. Okay, so here it is, the finished drawing. Using um, the supplies in the box, I did add an additional few um, Ohuhu markers just to help me along because we didn't have like many colours to work with. But yeah, if you do want this painting, it is for sale on my Etsy shop. Um, so yeah, alright. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment below, subscribe and all that jazz. And yeah, alright. Goodbye.